flight change the weather And I promise forever Welcome back to my channel. My name is Kiana, but on here I go by The Modern Sim, and today we are starting a new Let's Play. And this LP will be a little bit different from my other ones because this one is more storytelling based. Now, if you didn't know, I am currently an English major with a concentration in creative writing. So crafting stories and narratives has always been something that I enjoyed and that I'm currently like learning how to be better at. So creating an LP that is more story driven is just where I wanted to tip my hat into. One of the reasons why I love Sim so much is the ability to create your own stories. And I wanted to incorporate that more on this channel. Besides having a greater storytelling aspect, this LP will also differ in the fact that it will be rotational gameplay. Though we have our main sim, whose name I've yet to tell you, which is Naomi. As I was creating the other sims in the save file, I realized they had a story to tell too. And though my original plan was to somewhat tell those stories through Naomi, I felt like it wouldn't be as effective as actually playing as them and playing out those things. And not everything has to be like, oh, this happened off camera or we're filling you in from Naomi's perspective like I just really want to play with them and bring their stories to life as well so before we get into the start of this episode I just want to let you guys know that I will not be introducing all of the sims in this first episode my plan with them is to gradually introduce them in a way that makes sense and not just like throw them throwing them all in one episode especially the first episode because i want this episode to particularly be about naomi since she is our main sim so i believe that's all i have to say for right now so without further ado let's get into this episode so the main sim for this lp is naomi tomlin naomi is very sweet and outgoing Currently, Naomi is an attorney. She became interested in being a lawyer simply because she loves to help people. And we'll get more into that aspect later in this episode because I don't want to reveal everything from the get-go. But right now, she's kind of just enjoying being the well-known and respected lawyer that she is. She doesn't quite know what's next for her. She knows at the end of the day, she just wants to help people. And, she, and she's kind of just enjoying being where she envisioned many years ago, which is helping people and being well-off, you know being a support system to her friends and family so that is naomi of work naomi is currently working from home today i have her doing a little bit of research for the current case that she's on along with her other friend who we will meet in a future episode her best friend winnie came over to one just talk and hang out and things like that but also it's like lunchtime. she's come over to get a little bit of lunch oh, and talk so Winnie is Naomi's best friend. Um, they were roommates in college, actually. And they've been, like, pretty tight, pretty close ever since. Like, she is the one that Naomi pretty much goes to with all her problems and vice versa. And they know so much about each other. Now, Winnie won't be over for too long because Naomi has other things planned for the rest of the day. But I'm just going to have them chill and hang out. And catch up just a little bit and while they do that I'm gonna give you a quick tour of Naomi's home so this is Naomi's home so going in her front door we were met with her entrance which has a picture of herself and her little sister and a candle as well as this mirror and then turning to the right is where everything pretty much is her whole house is pretty much just like open but like has areas to make it seem like it is closed off so to the right to the immediate right we have her living room area going straight ahead we have this bookcase library type of area and then we have her dining room and then off of her dining room we have her beautiful kitchen and above the fireplace we have a couple of family photos so cute we have this lofted area i don't know guys i just love loft so much but this is her bedroom very simple 
kind of like Ravens in a way from my moving on let's play but not not too much but these more family photos that is her and her sister all grown up here we have a painting corner because Naomi does love to paint and here's some of her art I couldn't think of the word and she has a little desk area right here and then off of her desk area is her bathroom which is actually one of my favorite parts of this build like it's really nice And then here's a shower over here, but the sink, toilet, and then like you can see through the um, the windows, the glass windows, a little bit of the downstairs area, but not too much. I forgot to show you that there is a another bathroom here. Bathroom in here, it's just a half bath, nothing too special. Toilet, and then you know sink and mirror. So that is that. But anyways, back to Naomi and Winnie. I'm gonna have her finish researching this case and then have her chat a little bit more with Winnie. But I also want to have them eat. I think I made yeah I made grilled cheese earlier, or Naomi made grilled cheese earlier. So I'm gonna just say call the meal. Winnie is very much a very intelligent sim like she graduated valedictorian from high school and i believe she has like multiple degrees just like naomi so they have that in very much in common like i said naomi has other plans for today and she is actually going to go out with oh mischief is good she's actually going to go out with someone who she's been in an off and on again relationship with they've been at this pretty much since college so i just want to see what she Okay. Born. Boda. So whatever. I don't know why Winnie is so sad, but Winnie has her own problems that she has to deal with in her personal life. We won't talk too much about her personal life in this episode, but she will have her own episode where we'll dive deeper into that. But I'm gonna have. Naomi and joke around, but I also want to have her talk about her meetup later with Devin. Whitney has known of the situation between Devin and Naomi for a long time, considering like they met in college. So they all know each other or know of each other, but it's kind of been rocky in their relationship and boom. Ah, Fibna. And then kind of have her talk about her family drama as well. Fina, <laughs> Vincey huh? Jongi, ah, oh, Wanu. Wanu. So we're like, yeah, I'm going out to meet with Bobinette? Devin later today. Ooh, He's in town for just a few days. And, you know, Bob. things have kind of been like Turn back and forth, but you Banaza. know, hopefully yes. this weekend or this week <laughs> we yes. end on a good note. So rude. Naomi's also telling her about fact that before she goes there she's gonna go see her her family she's like yeah how is she, how is your dad your and your sister like yeah my my dad's fine my sister she's like kind of going through a tough time because and we'll get a little bit more into you know her family history when we go visit her family but her sister's kind of having like um a time adjusting you know like she's a teenager and being raised by a single father so like there's a little bit of disconnect there but i have her talk a little bit about her art because naomi has been taking a break from doing art but like she still loves to paint and things like that she just hasn't had the time and she's just basically kind of telling her like yeah i kind of want to get back into you know my art and things like that like i really that's something i really enjoyed and when he's just kind of encouraging her like yeah you know you definitely should like you were really good at it i remember in college like you are great at it. <laughs> Winnie, why are you leaving? <laughs> I'm trying to chat with you. 
Oh, okay, she's about to leave, which which works out. It's okay. She's like, well, I'll see you guys. I'll see you later. Tell me how the date went. So I'm going to have her clean up, and then in a little bit, we're going to go visit her family because she has plans to meet up with Devin at around 7.30ish. Okay, so she's already completed researching for her case, but we're going to have her attend her deposition and then meet up with her family after that, so we're going to have her do that really quickly. Now she's changing outfits. This is not the outfit I approved for you, but okay. It's cute though, but... But anyways, guys, I'm going to have her attend this, and I will see you at her family's house. Residence. Oh. Right now, Naomi oh, is geez. talking with her. Right. Well, she was talking with her whole family, but right now she's talking with her father. Rank of Lenovo. Neebs, all child. I'm just like Nina. catching up with him, like you know what's oh, been going on, flip. you know, with Jabine. you and <laughs> you know, I'm over here like every other day. I just want to know, just want to check in on you, Dad, because I'm kind of like in a, row. Huh? a little concerned about you. And I have her about the text. Um, Devin because it is running a little bit late so they'll have to like push it back a little bit but her dad seems to be fine I'm gonna have her check in on her sister so it looks like her sister is in the garage I wonder why she's in here actually maybe she came to paint or something this is her sister Cameron and they're like really close like Cameron is currently a teenager, so there's quite a bit of an age gap in between the sisters, but they're like really tight. Even though they are sisters, I guess they would consider each other their best, each other's best friends. Actually, Naomi just kind of came over to check on her sister. She heard that like, she's kind of been having a hard time with their dad. Cameron is growing up. Rolling on the floor laughing. You'd be safe to say that she likes comedy. Yes, of course. Caregiver sims are dragged by the empathy and compassion to protect and care. Unfortunately, others will exploit their good nature for their own ends. And this comes up in perfect timing because Cameron also has been having trouble with like her friendships and things like that. But and she feels like she can confess those things too. Usually she's able to confess those things. You know what guys, hold on. This is actually crazy timing because this is where we were going to go anyways. We were going to go to a food truck, but it just, I had already planned it and I was gonna invite him. But I guess he won't invite us instead. So it works out. I'm gonna go ahead and go because it just makes sense to go, but they were done talking anyway. So we'll catch up with Naomi and her family later on, but and now it's time to get to some tea. Where is my phone and why is it so loud? So we have made it to the food truck, which I converted into a restaurant, and I will have the build linked in the description below, but I'm going to have her, where's he going? Okay, I'm going to have her request a table, but this is what the, this is what it looks like. Okay, so this is Devin. I already had them order, and even though they text pretty frequently to check in on each other, but like, it's different. Um, so basically, Naomi and Devin used to date back in college. It was pretty good in the beginning. Like, they kind of started off as friends, and then it kind of transitioned into something more. I didn't really get into it back at her family's house because we were, um, 
we were on a time schedule essentially but Naomi was raised pretty much by her dad when she was younger her mom was sick sadly she ended up passing away from her sickness and essentially Naomi's dad Corey had to just raise his daughters the best way he could and of course he couldn't give them everything they needed or required emotionally and just knowledge wise about you know how to be a woman and in that aspect but he tried his best and essentially Naomi kind of grew up as a tomboy ish you know what I'm saying until she went to college like I said that's where she met her friend group but also most importantly for this episode Devin and Devin was kind of there through her tomboy era like he had like a slight a bit of a crush on her but like he wasn't really acting on it because he didn't think that Naomi was interested in him in that way eventually their friendship grew and you know she was able to open up about you know her her upbringing and this this pressure that she had um to kind of just be the mother figure that she didn't have for her sister and so that kind of connects back to early in the episode when I was talking about her being her desire to want to help people that kind of stems from when she was younger and had to kind of step up and help her father why is he here i'm sorry step up and help her father he better not walk over here sorry step up and help her father raise her and her sister so their relationship was pretty decent you know of course they had the hiccups like they were young and very passionate about you know the things that they their career and their future but also each other so like of course they had like their their tiffs and things like that as much as they got along and understood each other, they really, they just couldn't see eye to eye on, you know, plans for the future. They all have, they both have their own plans and their own desires and it just wasn't working out. And so like, it's just, uh, there's a lot of history between these two, a lot positive, a lot negative. And they're pretty much at a point in their life where because of how deeply connected they are to each other they can't really let each other go but there's so much history there that they kind of want to forget and move on but it's just it's just kind of hard for them and that's partially one of the reasons why I named this LP unfinished business because these two definitely have unfinished business and in the meantime they're kind of comfortable being in the middle when they're together there's no pressure to you know to kind of discuss what they are they kind of just enjoy each other for what they are in the moment so I'm gonna have her ask about his love life you know because they are in a I have in the game it's classified as friends with benefits but they're in that type of relationship so oh, here's their food is she pregnant okay girl get your thing but they're in that type of relationship so they're not exclusively dating nor are they really together it's just kind of like they're just enjoying each other for the moment that they have with them with each other you know like they're free to like date who they want and go out with whoever they want but so i'm gonna ever ask him about his love life because i want to see where he is personally like well, who is he talking to anyone like it's fine if he is but like you know ask if seeing others i'm gonna ever ask if he's seeing anyone else and then Gauge relationship development. Relationship with this sim is between 0 and 20 points. No chance of falling in love. This is a safe zone. So they're not, like, of course they love each other. They're in love with each other. But they're at that point where, like, it's not crossing the line of, I guess, forever at the moment. You know what I'm saying? If you know what I mean. She's like, you know, like, are you seeing anyone? You know, he's like, yeah, I mean, go on on dates but I'm not seeing anyone else at the moment you know I'm gonna have her compliment him just a little bit like he you know he looking he is looking a little you know <laughs> I'm gonna have her talk a little bit about her job because it says here chat about scandalous lawsuit and like he knows but like of course he's a lawyer so like I mean she she's a lawyer and he wants to know like and he knows that that's very much important to her so he's like you know I'm gonna ask her about it like you know how How's work going, you know? I heard, you know, you taken on some pretty high profile cases recently, so how's that going? I'm kinda proud of you. Like who would have thought that we would be here? 
pursuing our, our jobs, our careers, and still knowing each other, you know? You know, they're just pretty much catching up, you know? Not too, too deep, but, you know, just hitting the parts that, you know, matter, like, like I said earlier, are you seeing anyone, you know, how's your job going? I'm actually going to control him just a bit. What? Oh, okay. <laughs> Such a lust for love. Who who do you desire? Sorry. <laughs> I was about to say, because you know what this this symbol. <laughs> Y'all know what this symbol means. So, usually means. So, I was like, wait. <laughs> Not right before he came to see us, but he didn't. Okay. <laughs> if I say, okay. All right, now. I'm going to have him compliment outfit and flatter her and be like you know you, you know you're looking you're looking good you know you're glowing i i say you look oh okay wait he's flirtatiously like <laughs> see the chemistry Ugh. like they can't just be friends i'm gonna have him reaffirm his love for her and be like you know i've always you know i always love and i always care for you you know You'll always be in my life regardless of what capacity that is. You just get me, you know? Well, um, the Geek Con was actually here today, and I just, you know, kept couldn't help but think about, you know, when we used to go, when we used to, you know, have university in the city. Like, do you remember that? Crazy. Look how time flies, you know? I'm going to have her invite him to stay the night, to be honest. Like, this was already going to happen, but I'm just going to make it cute, though. Like, do it officially. Is he, are they really about to sit on the floor? Oh, okay. I don't wait. <laughs> Let me get down here. I've never had this happen before, but, you know. But anyway, she's saying, like, you want to, you know, stay the night? You know, I'm going to wrap this date up. I'm going to have her... And meal and pay the bill, even though let, I'm gonna just say he did it. What is that? 39. Putting that right back in her account. Add it. They just get each other like the willingness to just come sit on the floor. Like, look. <laughs> I mean, this is funny, but like, the restaurant hopes you enjoyed your meal. Some millions have been automatically deducted from your household fund. But anyways. So, they have come over here to this bench. I didn't I didn't do that, but of course I cued up some autonomous reactions, but like look at them. Like I know he's probably like, you know, I I miss you, you know. Being in the city is kinda lonely without you and it's just I don't know. I think about you all the time. Not my heart bursting while I'm recording this. I'm trying not to get too attached. But they really do care and love each other just on different pages oh. you know okay i'm gonna have them out here too much longer because it is getting to 3 a.m but i'm having to talk about the temperature room temperature because i know he's probably like you know even though you know what is going on oh my gosh from <laughs> how to wait 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 Intense lust from high desire. So much lust makes you uncomfortable. It would be wise to find a way to release this tension. Okay, yeah. So he's he's letting us know like I can't I can't do this that much longer. We like we just we're gonna have to go home. Before they go, I wanna show you she has the exact same one, you know? It's it's getting real. It's getting it's getting heated pretty much, is what they're telling us. So I will see you guys back at the house, alright? Okay, so we have made it back to the house and you know, they just I'm gonna go chat on the bed just for a little bit. You don't just get straight to the. I mean, you know, for them, I they do, but <laughs> for these purposes, we're not going to yet, at least. So let's have her. Ooh, not try for pregnancy or ask for your boyfriend. gonna have her embrace him <laughs> oh ciao okay let's go ahead and um hold hands with Devin oh. okay I don't have access to this once but that's so cute no before we do any of this because I 
don't have time for no no foolery okay guys okay I don't have time for it drag this into the inventory because mm -mm, I don't have time for it <laughs> like I did that just go throw the whole LP off oh wait she already had some up here oops at that point I think I would just pretend like it didn't happen I'm gonna have her reaffirm her love for him in, sure, sure. and be like I honestly can't imagine you not in my Help life either. Oh, Ooh. This. They said, finally, gosh. <laughs> just, it's just crazy between them, okay? They have kind of fallen into. Uh uh. Absolutely. Absolutely. And I think she was ovulating today. I forgot to click on it. <sighs> well, <laughs> guys, there will be no baby, okay? There will be no baby, okay? There's no chance of that happening, okay? I'm sorry. Oh, it looks like they're done. They really do care about each other, guys, but they just can't get on the same page for longer than a moment. And if I were to use a song to describe your relationship at this moment, it would be All Mine by Brent Fias. Like, they really do deeply care and love each other, but they, like, get on each other's nerves. There's always something keeping them apart. So we'll see where their journey takes us in this LP. Um, I'm really am excited to play it out because guys, it's gonna be <laughs> Naomi's boss was okay. I said we're gonna work from home today again, but both of them, even though they can only have each other for a moment, that is something at this point they're willing to take and accept as they go live their separate lives. When they're together, it's almost as if no time has passed and they're free to just be whatever they are at the moment they're okay with that they're okay so i'm gonna let them continue to sleep for a little bit longer and then once they wake up we'll have them eat a little bit and we'll have to say goodbye to Devin because he's only in town for a couple of days so okay guys so it is a couple hours later and unfortunately Devin has left before honestly before she can even greet him but before he left he did make her some chocolate chip pancakes and an espresso even though she's grabbing another one but another drink but yeah um this is kind of just a testament to their relationship like they just know that they really only have a few moments together and so they just make the most of it and then when the moment's over they go the separate way so we will be seeing Devin of course again and it's LP like honestly how could we not see him let me have her put this away though Put away and you can drink this one too because i don't see why not like he did leave it for you this is honestly a great stopping point for this episode i didn't want to get too far into the series and go too many days like i usually do for my other lps i usually go several days but i just want this series to be essentially captured moments in a bigger story so that is why we're not going to go too far in this episode but i do hope you guys enjoyed this episode tell me what do you guys think about devin and naomi's okay. relationship like do you see that do you think that maybe this is a future or maybe they should just like let it go tell me what you guys are thinking and and why honestly these two clearly do have unfinished business hints the title of this LP or the inspiration behind the title for this LP but like I said guys I hope you enjoyed this episode and don't forget to like comment and subscribe and I will see you in the next one bye